In my previous video, I showed how we can set up publishing streams from any ROM database and include block references and embeds and subscribe to these from any number of other databases. And now I want to show you a way in which we could have an interactive conversation using uh, some of the specific um, conventions that have developed uh, when using multiplayer ROM but instead of all being inside the same ROM database, we're actually uh, roaming from three different databases. So let's say I wanted to discuss uh, Settlecasten. Uh, I could start a new conversation about Settlecasten. And it creates automatically a tag for me. It tells me this is where I need to be typing. And I can start writing here. So I can say, I have been thinking a lot about Settlecasten. And then I might put this on Twitter and perhaps someone wants to join me. So I'm going to join this conversation that I saw on Twitter. And this database is called Stiandidia, so this is just the name of the database. And you see here that I'm subscribing to Stian's changes and I have my own field. And I also see right away this new database appearing here. And of course the help database would like to join. And now we have the help database, Stian Didia and Stian. So let's say the help database wants to comment on something that Stian said. So we can block reference that. And you see here that I'm receiving, I'm reading here, I wrote this, someone's block referencing it, and I'm getting this little backlink here, and I can see that the help database said something. So that's pretty cool. Um, of course, the Diandia can chime in here and say, We're going to make this into a um, reference. And now we have two back references here. So this was what I said. This is what Scandidia said. This is what Help said. And of course, this is not only me who can do this, but this works also here and here. So that's interesting. Um, another thing we can do, of course, is to bring in um, material. And that's one of the big advantages of having this discussion um, in each of our own databases. So let's see if I have something interesting to add to this. So they're all asking me what I've been thinking about. So of course I want to pull up my Sittlecasten page and I have a lot of backlinks here. So let's see, well, Matt Brockwell had something. I rise on wings of awareness, I, I like that. Matt Brockwell said something interesting. on the wings and so now I'm sharing this um, with um, with everyone and you know what I can do here I can of course respond to that whole thing so I can say Very insightful. Let's see. That reminds me of something in the white paper. Let's see. I'm 
sure there's something interesting here. Besides, so it reminds me of this one, apparently. And so now we're sharing this one and we can go and look at the comments here, which is pretty cool. Um, but now that we're into the white paper, another way we can do this is actually working at the level of, um, you know, the source text. So let's say we have um, optimizing for serendipity here. So let's say I say, hey, I'd like us to take some notes on this section from their own white paper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select some of these blocks and I'm going to out drag them in and that's going to drag in the block references. <laughs> right. And so now when I'm sitting here and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open this in the sidebar because I'm supposed to be talking down here. Only type here. Thank you for reminding me. Right. So let's look at what he put in. So just as humans are incapable of generating random numbers, I wanna let's see, let's uh, copy that block ref. Wow, this is so profound. So I'm now block refereeing this, and we can see the the reference below here and we can annotate this together so let's say i want to add another command on this just as humans are incapable so i want to add something to this too i'm going to copy block ref let's see where i need to write so i need to write only here okay so, very cool indeed, reminds me of something, let's see, let's find some other interesting stuff here. So here's the discussion about tool main and subtle custom, and I'm going to put in that whole thing because that looks really interesting, something about tool main. Right, and so now I'm sharing this um, this embed, and in fact, what's possible here is for someone to go in and want to comment on a subsection. So I might say, hey, this particular thing, let's see, I need to only type here, so I'll say, Zanzi strikes me as a very profound thinker. Now what that will do is, of course, I'm going to send this across so I can read that and I can click on this and I can zoom to it, even though this is not from my database, but it's now in my database. But for the original person who put it in, you actually get the block reference back on the original text. So rather than having the block reference here, I now have a block reference here that says, well, this specific thing that you were taking notes on, it now is part of this conversation, which of course I can go and open and I can see that whole conversation. So um, yeah, I think the potential for these kind of experiences, and there might be many other ways of organizing this all built on top of, this is basically just using the concept of publish and subscribe. It just wraps it in a little um, way of making it easier to um, share. But all that's happening when I create a conversation is that it um, publishes my stream and it subscribes to the other people's streams. So thank you. <laughs>